what you're about to hear is a brief clip from the what the fuck tuesday relationship advice live stream that took place on july 19th of 2022 this question uh, and the subsequent response i think are valuable enough that they they warrant a standalone video because this kind of game is played on so many young women and they don't get it they don't see it coming so hopefully this helps somebody out there if you want to see the entire video just look for the what the fuck tuesday from july 19th and you can listen to all 25 questions Boop! and be out okay and here's our last question of the day and oh my god it goes on forever look at this damn book who wrote this long letter female 18 to 21 sees cancer from phoenix arizona the male 18 to 21 year old scorpio I've been seeing this guy for a while and we have been taking it slow because of my preference. Your preference oh, I guess it's your preference to be slow. I was cautious with him at first because he had a reputation as a player. But we have been getting to know each other really well and he's told me all about some of his issues and fears. Oh, did he now? Mm -hmm. And I feel like I really know him now. We haven't become physical yet because I was afraid at first of being used by him because of his reputation as a player. But now I know him really well and it is heading in that direction. However, recently we were having a conversation and suddenly he broke down and started getting emotional and said, if anything bad happened between us, just know it was my fault. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> oh, this little motherfucker right here. I was shocked and surprised and started comforting him because, oh, girl, you need to. Haven't you been on this channel to know these kind of silly games? because I felt bad for how sad he looked. <sighs> Little girl. Okay, let me finish reading this letter. I told him that wasn't true and I have my flaws as well. But the more I think about it and from watching your videos, I started thinking that maybe that's a line. Oh, thank you, Jesus, that he's trying to use to prepare me because maybe he has intentions of using me physically and then tossing me away and moving on. We've been seeing each other for a few weeks now and not done the full deed, but have done other things. And he hasn't asked to because asked to become monogamous yet, but I feel he has strong emotions for me. But now I'm wondering if he's faking it or putting on a vulnerable act to get me into bed. Ding, ding, ding. We have talked about his own traumas and I feel I know him really well, but he's never had a relationship, but has slept with many women. And I worry that this is some rehearsed line because he seems to be really smooth with women and is very attractive. I don't want to be played and I would love to know how much how much I should believe his emotions. You know the head of a pin, like a stick pin, which you have to really see with like an electron microscope? Imagine one one hundredth of that. That's how much of you should believe his, his fake ass emotions. This motherfucker don't have no emotions. He's just pulling out. He's the first weeks he's been around you and you used to listen to all his trauma sob stories and made up bullshit and he could look at your face. Remember, I told you, you haven't looked at the videos. You, if you looked, you haven't been paying attention to what I said. They look at you. You're going to be sitting there thinking that he's just transfixed with your wonderful beauty and he's just all in love and stuff. He's reading you. That's what they do. They study you like a fucking bug under a microscope. So he's telling you all this shit and he's looking at you to see how you eating it up and what effect it's having on you. How your eyes change, how your eyes dilate. If you look like you're gonna cry, if your breathing changes, if you look sad, if you care, if you reach out to hold his hand or want to pat him up or hug him and stuff, that's what they're looking for. And the fact that you, I know she's young. Yeah, you yeah, Mo, she's young, y'all. She's only in the 18 to 21 age group. She's a baby, so she don't she don't know. But I have to give her credit. She did have enough sense to say, wait a minute. Seemed like I heard this on a video somewhere. So she did, you know, she did catch some, she caught something. So she was, she's not a total lost case yet. But little girl, I'm going to tell you this right now. Anytime a man, because, okay, they start coming in the gate with the sob stories. That tells you right there that he ain't about shit. Because when men really want to impress a woman, which is their goal, if they want to come in the gate and like, let you see their masculinity, their strength, their togetherness, you know, how he handles shit, how he moves how he solved problems, how he is just a mover and a shaker, all this kind of stuff. They're not going to come in there telling you their weaknesses, their foibles, and their traumas. So anytime a man you just met starts spilling his guts like that, 
understand is the game is being run and they're testing you, like I said, to see if you're going to eat it up. So when they start talking about all that stuff, you know what Deb does? I say, why are you trying to, why are you telling me that? I don't care. How could you not care? Because I don't. That's some shit that happened in the past don't have shit to do with me. Let's talk about today and tomorrow and let's talk about me. Let's do that. What you going to do for me? That's what I want to hear. I don't want to hear about what you did for other bitches and how they broke your heart and all that old dragon drama. Because I don't give a fuck. It's like, how's that going to help me to hear what you did for some other bitch and how she dogged you out? Please understand. It ain't that kind of party. If that's what you want to do, you need to go find somebody else who might give a fuck about that shit. Because that ain't me. That's not here over here. So, young lady, yeah, I'm not saying you have to use my language because, of course, I, at your age, I didn't talk like that either, but I still would put folks in check. But now, I just don't give a damn, and I just say whatever the hell I feel like saying the way I feel like saying it, and it's usually full of profanity. Yeah. I just give no fucks anymore. I don't want to hear it. You know, and you all thought I was bad before. Let me tell you, since I had this stroke, my bullshit meter has like shrunken by at least 80%. I am just not down with it at all. Not one word of shit do I want to hear. Cause I, you know, it's nothing like when you figuring out, wow, you know, I could have really died. And that, that realization that that could have, you could have checked the fuck up out of here. And then people going to come in your life with some bullshit and you don't know how much time you have left. You don't do it. Your whole pers- strategy and perspective changes about things. She's a baby. She's 18 to 21. So, you know, she's just really getting started. She's not thinking like that. And at that age, I didn't either. But I think like that now. And I'm not letting no motherfucker, male or female, come in my life and waste my time. I'm not going to do that. Yes, we do use colorful language on this channel, Mary Elizabeth. You know that. We speak the rainbow. (laughs) But, you know, this, 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 this understand what time it is here. See, once you start, you know, you start petting him. What did you say? I was shocked and surprised, and I started comforting him. That was it. You sealed your fate with that move. You were supposed to sit there and laugh at him. That's what you're supposed to do. If anything bad happens between us, just know it was my fault. Like you, like you didn't like that was going to be a rocket science experiment that was going to take all kind of time to investigate. Of course, it's your fault. You a man. Everything is your fault. Motherfucker, shit, you breathe funny. It's because men fart too much and we have holes in the ozone layer. Oh, y'all, the gas is worse than cows. <laughs> yeah, he talked about his trauma. See, he's trying to get you to talk about yours. He wants you to talk about your, your weaknesses and your traumas and stuff that scares you and your insecurities and your doubts, self-doubts and stuff like that. That's what it is. He's trying to get ammo. Listen to that series on the narcissist. And the latest one I did, what is it? The 21 Things. What is that series you got? It was a three video set with seven in each one. 21 Things of Women. So I forgot what the title was. But anyway, it's 21 Things that was done like in March or, or April. I mean, pretty recent. And it's three set videos. Look at that. And in there, you'll, you'll hear um, the stories about these kind of dudes and why you, you don't fall for this game. I'm telling you, we're going to sing that sob story. Do you want me to put some, pull some violin up, music up on my YouTube music so you can have a accompaniment to that sad song you're trying to sing? You know, because it's just really boring listening to you. One thing I don't like is whiny ass men crying about some shit. It's fucking turn off. See, I say stuff like that to him. I just, I don't want to be, I just, it makes me itch. <laughs> Anyway, 